Well, hello. Welcome back to the channel. If you like what you see, see if I can stand somewhere where you can see me. Uh, about there? Yeah, about there. If you like what you see, please do the usual. As I always say, please like, please subscribe, hit the little bell icon down in that corner there, would be fantastic. And leave some comments because I always like to hear what you have to say about these, uh, about the blogs, the pictures that take and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, okay, enjoy. Today we've come to a place called Inverary, which is, um, if you remember where it was last time around at the Butterbridge, it's kind of just a wee bit further down, um, down the, the kind of coast from there, uh, around Loch Fine, keep going. Um, so, yeah, kind of heading down that big long peninsula, the Kintyre Peninsula, almost. Um, aye, so that's where we are. Um, it's very picturesque little town, it's rebuilt as a kind of new town back in the, I think it was 18th century, something like that. Uh, but we're not going to photograph that, we're going to head up the hill behind it, uh, where there is a watchtower uh, and some fantastic views across the sea, across the bay. So that's what we're going to aim for. Uh, so yeah, go on, let's go. So I've come not very far up the hill so far. I mean, we're only, what, a couple of hundred yards up the hill, something like that, walking through the forest. A good forest, actually. There's some giant redwoods here. There's one right behind you here. Another one over that way somewhere. Uh, another ruined building back there. I wonder where that is. Just noticed it. Anyway, um, I would come across these ruined buildings here. Um, I don't know what it is, if it's a, maybe an old farm or maybe a, a gunpowder works, something like that. My money says it's a gunpowder works. I'll maybe stick, I'll do a bit of research and stick something down there somewhere just to see what it actually is. But nevertheless, let me stick the movie on. There. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the kind. I'm not going to go through all the settings and everything and how I set it up. I do that all the time with these panels. I'm going to take a panel, as I say, um, because I can fit it in when I do it like horizontally as a 16 by 9 but there's an awful lot of kind of not necessarily dead space but space I don't like stuff in it I don't like with the sky and all this kind of stuff at the bottom and I just want the, the buildings and nothing else really so I'm going to take it as a pano put it in as a 3 by one and we should be able to get the buildings over here maybe a bit this path across here as well over on the right hand side something like that anyway that's what we're looking at okay I'll just spin it around a bit as you can see we're going to start about there and bring it round. We'll get this building here, which I don't know, maybe an old barn or something. Round here to this, which, like I say, I'm guessing is a gunpowder works. I could be, could well be very, very wrong. I don't know, but yeah, get all that, and then we'll swing it around here because we've got that path leading in from the side as well. Okay, and that is probably about it. So yeah. Let me just switch the movie off again. Okay, switch it back into manual mode. I've done my setup already. Um, so we're looking at F9. Okay, we're looking at, let me bring that down actually. I'm going too far there. Round about 0.8 of a second for each exposure. It's brightened up. I took this picture already, but it's brightened up. So I'm taking it down to 0.8 of a second. Um, take it again. All right. And that, I think, is probably about it. Let me just focus on the building there. Okay, whoops. Focus on the building there, he said, doing it properly this time. Then I'll switch into manual focus. And take the first shot. One, two, three. Click.
So I've made it up to the top of the hill here and there's actually quite a lot more people here than I thought there would be. It's quite quite crowded, so I have to wait till people get out of the way to take this this shot here. Um, what I've done, if you can see, I've put on my 16mm, I don't know if you can see that from here, the 16mm um, prime lines because I'm pointing directly into the sun. So there's fewer bits inside, you get less flare, that kind of thing. Now what I'm going to do is take another pano. Um, we've got the wash tower up here. I wish I knew the history of it. I was going to Google it, but there's no reception, so I'm afraid you'll have to do without the history this time around. Um, so yeah, we're shooting almost directly into the sunset uh, with the prime lines on. And again, it's just the usual thing. It's just pointing the camera there, move it around a third, move it around a third, move it around a third. I'm going to turn, oops, I'm going to turn the right button. I'm going to turn it up to a fairly high um, aperture, so f20 maybe, because I want to get like a starburst on the sunset, hopefully. I've never tried this with a panel before, I hope it works. Okay, so that's f20, and I'll change my display settings, that is my display to my um, histogram again. Uh, so that we're looking, let's see if I point directly at the sun. How about this? About one thirteenth of a second at f20. Give or take. Alright. So I'm just going to switch that around to there. I'm going to turn it around to there. There's quite a lot of people. Hopefully I won't get them in the shot. And then as I say, just move it around a third at a time. Well, a bit of focus, I suppose. There we go. So focus. Switch into manual focus. Oops. Do it properly, Douglas. Try to do it single-handed and talk at the same time. Switch it into manual focus. Okay. And then it'll just be, as soon as people get out of the way, it'll be a case of one, two, three, click. So we'll just call it a day of that. So I've not taken very many shots today, so just a short one, I think. Um, but we'll, uh, oh, we've enjoyed the ones that, that we've taken. Um, if you do like it, just please like, please subscribe, hit the little bell icon down that corner there. And uh, if you'd be good, if you could leave some comments down below, would be fantastic. All right, that's that. I'm going to call it a day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.